Hello and welcome to this Allview 1.5 tutorial. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you update the firmware on your Allview 1.5. So let's jump right in and take a look. First thing you want to do is go ahead and check the firmware version on the camera. To do this, power on the camera. Use the power and mode button to cycle through into the main menu. Once you're at the main menu, you want to scroll all the way through the options using the settings arrows or simply press the up settings arrow to get straight to the setup menu. Use the shutter button to select. You can either scroll through the whole setup menu, but I know that this the version is one of the last options. So I'm going to actually scroll up using the up arrow. The very last option there is version. I'm going to hit the shutter button and it's going to tell us the firmware information about the camera. So we can see that it's running version 2 from the date February 17th, 2017. Now, at the time of recording this video, there's a new firmware version from the 1st of March. If your camera is not running this version or later, it is important to do so. So I recommend to go in and do that straight away. So what you want to do now, power off the camera. So there's two ways of doing this. The first way is to plug your camera into your computer via USB, or the second would be to simply pop the micro SD card out and pop that into your computer. Now that's the way I'm gonna look at doing things, but the process is exactly the same. Uh, using it the other way, you just need to use your camera and select the mass storage option when prompted. So let's take the SD card out. Now you see that I have a micro SD adapter. I can pop it in. And we're going to pop that into my computer. Okay, let's pop the SD card into my Mac. If you're a PC user, the process is going to be very, very similar. So with the SD card inserted, we can just leave that how it is. What we need to do now is head over to the Allview website. And you want to go to allview.co.uk forward slash downloads. Again, this is the domain at the time of the video. I would suggest to jump over to the Allview website and have a look through if you're watching this in the future. Then the web domain may be ever so slightly different. I don't know. But for now, allview.co.uk forward slash downloads. Now, at the top of the page, we can see that we've got a new firmware update. We're simply going to hit that download button. It's going to take you to the Alfie Dropbox. And it's going to want us to download the file. So once the file's downloaded, you want to go to the location that you saved it to. In my case, this is simply my downloads folder. But it's actually already unzipped it automatically for me on my Mac. Don't worry about this if you're on a Windows machine or if your Mac hasn't unzipped it, just double click the file and your computer should have a built-in unzipper and you'll be presented with this folder. Inside the folder, there's two files. We've got our firmware file, fwolfi.bin, and we've got a readme file. The readme file is essentially what I'm talking you through now, so I'm not gonna discuss this in too much detail, but please follow those instructions as well. So. Let me minimize this so we've got a bit more room to play with. What you want to do is open up your memory card. It's a pretty simple process. You want to take the firmware.bin file and drag it onto the memory card to copy it across. Now, do not place it in any other folder or the DCIM folder or anything that you've got on that memory card. You just want this firmware file to be what we call in the root of the memory card, which is the top level folder. So we know it's on the card, but it's not anywhere within a folder or a hidden file or anything like that. Simply on the top level of the memory card. Okay, it's that simple. So the file is now on our memory card. The next step is to eject that card from the computer. Now, again, on a Windows machine, it's gonna be slightly different. It'll be within my computer as a removable drive. Um, but with us being Mac users here, I can't demo that. 
Let's take the memory card out and jump back over to our Alfie. The next thing you want to do is simply grab your USB cable and pop that straight into the camera. It needs to be connected to a source of power. You'll see that the lights start flashing on your Alfie. This indicates that the update is in progress. Now this can take a few moments, depending on the size of the update. Once the update's complete, you'll see that your camera power is on and continues to charge. The key thing we need to do now is go ahead and remove the firmware update from the memory card. If you don't do this, every time you connect your camera to power or you try and power your camera on, it will attempt to re-update the firmware. To do that, we can either pop the memory card back into the computer and remove the firmware file, or we can use the format setting in the camera's setup menu. That's the way I'm going to do it because I know that I don't have any files on the memory card that I'm not willing to lose. And it's always good to start fresh. I'm going to press the power button once to get from the battery indicator into the camera. I'm going to press it two more times to get from video mode into the main menu. I'm going to scroll up to setup. I'm going to scroll up to format. Use the shutter button to select format, down arrow for OK, and the camera has been formatted and the file removed from the memory card. You can check the version here, so we can see we're now at the latest version as of March the 1st, 2017. And that's it, your camera is updated and ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, look out for more very soon.